confusion, confusion, confusion. The confusion always remains the same. Be it during your NEET UG days, should I read for my board exam in 12 CBSE board or should I prepare for NEET PG? Because the preparation are a bit different. The same confusion happens when you come to MPBS as well. Should I prepare for a prof, detailed manner, conceptual hardcore, or should I prepare for the NEET PG exam, INST exam, or FNG exam, right? The approach is different and the benefits what you get out of the approach is also different right so in this video i'm going to discuss about why both are important and how the preparation strategy is going to differ for both of them if you're first time here i'm dr anjit i'm a pathology faculty at pw medit and if you're not subscribed to the youtube button click subscribe button and let's learn about medicine pathology and more right let's dive back into the video like i said in the start the confusion always remains same be it your first year student second year third year or final year the emphasis has always been like, should I prepare for MBBS? My senior yeah. master told, ah, MBBS pass karne ke liye, two, two, three months is enough, right? So should I prepare only for the last two, three months for MBBS and less of time, let me prepare for NEET PG, INICT or let's chill. It's always there, no? My take is always one. I will never change from my take. Learning in MBBS is one goal, that's all. And if you kind of cater to the biggest goal there, that's becoming the best doctor automatically the NEET PG, INACT, distinction, honors, gold medal, everything will be sorted. So if you are in your first, second, third, fourth prof of MBBS, I would suggest you to say, don't go to the PYQs, don't go to the NEET PG, don't focus on that. Focus on the core concepts. I'll tell you why it's important. Because the basic foundation, the core concept is what is going to ring a bell when you are like 30, 40 years experienced and seeing a patient. Any basic concepts. I have to make a decision in a fraction of a second. For that, the basic concepts required. I had a student uh, recently who messaged me called Kotesh. He's like, I'm in a, I was in an anesthesia posting where uh, something happened and the SRs and everyone kind of panicked. Professor came and said that it's simple MI, just take an ECG. Though there is no classical symptom of MI, the base core concepts are always important. Because when you come to the real life, patients or the diseases will not know this is most common. It will present in the way it has to present. So if I go and study the rock bottom basics, this is the common presentation, this is the rare presentation, this is the rarest presentation, I need to know everything so that the goal is to clearly manage a patient in future. Now coming to a neat PG prep, is it vastly different? Honestly, I'd say no. Are you going to read this much for MBBS? Conceptualizing it, hardcore concepts, and kind of retaining it also. Because if you go to conceptual medicine, you'll always retain it. It's not required to uh, kind of uh, make mnemonics, kind of make it uh, multiple times revision, right? This is what I'm going to conceptually read. So when I come to need PG, it's going to shrink. Same thing is going to shrink. It's not different. The perception is it's different. It's really, really not different. It's the same thing. It will shrink. So while reading for a prof, be it Praram Batch, be it Nishchai Batch, be it Shustra Batch, we have focused DPPs, which will help you to kind of read the niche the focus. That is more than enough for you to ace it, right? Wait guys, I'm getting lots of texts. I don't know who is texting me. You know, sorry for it. I should have not done this. I should have always kept my mobile down, down but uh, it's short after a live class so this mobile phone keeps keep pinging. You know what? There is something unusual going on in the Instagram and YouTube channel of PW, right? So people are saying like, sir, what's going to happen? Like, there are lots of uh, hype created around it. Alexa's uh, photo is there. Is Alexa is going to come and do something? You know, honestly, I also don't know the exact picture. I'm sure you might not trust me, but that's the truth. Like, I don't know exactly the same uh, exact picture, what's what's going to happen. But confusion eh? amongst the faculties as well, what is being thing is going to happen. But I've been told that uh, from the entire team, so once this happens now, the way MBBA students is going to prepare is going to change. It's going to completely change the perception. They say that the entire landscape will change. That's something kind of I don't know what's going to happen really. Uh, guys, so who is messaging me on Instagram? What is a big surprise? Uh, let's wait for it. I've also got few notifications like I got. This is going to change. This is going to change. And I hope the change is for good, right? Something superb is going to happen for sure. That is true because uh, the title itself says something impossible is going to happen. Will it help you in need PG, INSD, need uh, MBBS prep? Honestly, obviously it should, right? If Medit is going to drop something big, it is going to help you and make your preparation much more easier than much more difficult. Much more conceptualized than much more memorizing. Much more retaining than much more requirement for revision. I'm sure that will happen, right? Okay, and uh, guys, you know what? We all are going to be a part of it. I hope Alexa also comes. We'll have a live event. You will see that in the pinned comments. Go to the link, just 
click the uh, bell icon so that whenever the uh, video uh, starts live you'll get a notification and don't miss it this is really going to be the biggest thing which has happened in so far in the six seven years of medical education training which i have been a part of it and i'm sure this will definitely change the way things happen right hoping to be a part of it along with you guys and hoping to ace the medical journey mbbs journey and becoming an amazing doctor with ease right stay tuned i'm i have to go for another shoot so i'm leaving here now we'll definitely talk much more uh, regarding the strategy and preparation for mbbs and epg if you have any doubts put in the comment section and let's see what's going to happen see you soon bye bye thank you